Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition on the base Xbox One, the last gen cheapest console. So on day one I checked out San Andreas on the Xbox One and I was not surprised to see long loading times, a very low resolution and dreadful performance. Well, there's been a few patches now and there are some fixes to some of the effects like the rain, it's a little bit better which wasn't difficult to improve on, at least in my opinion. You can also disable some extra stuff like the enemy outlines when you're aiming at certain characters, there's no more outline if you don't want to. And when flying around with the jet, if you get very high up, you're still seeing fog into the distance that covers the buildings. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. So it seems that they are listening to some of the discussions, but still, the performance is dreadful, it's below 30 frames per second very often, and when it hits 30 frames, well, the frame times are inconsistent, so it doesn't feel good to play at all. Same with resolution, it's clearly 720p, and they are not trying to hide it in any meaningful way. So yeah, I recommend you avoid this version of the game. Maybe if you have a Game Pass, download it and give it a go, but you'll be as disappointed as I am, a very old game from the PS2 era, not even hitting consistent 30 frames on a vastly superior console. I know they switch engines to Unreal, but they really need to learn to optimize such an old title and adapt it to the consoles and the PC. There's clearly a lot of things that they didn't think of when making this version. Some of the things that they decided here are mind-boggling, like making the street lights and the car lights produce shadows in the Xbox One version when it's barely hitting 30 frames per second, in a consistent manner of course. So yeah, I think that would be the first thing that they will turn off to get more performance, but apparently they forgot and only did it on the Switch version, which I would say is the worst version of the game, and this is the second worst. So yeah, hopefully in the future they address all this with patches, I'll be here testing it out for you guys. But as of right now, just stay away, Wait for Rockstar to fix everything or just play the older ones if you have access to them in any particular way like the PC or the PS2 version, I don't know. But again, just avoid this one. Complete disappointment, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Time for a hot shower, Holmes.
You'll go to prison for this! Hey, this is my car! I mean by carpool. This area is restricted to pilots only. Oh. 